I will be doing the standard hot water way but with some extra steps that I like to do and I find the results amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and check what we need. I will be using two old bowls for the water, a towel for Twyla's hair. I also covered the table so it doesn't get too wet everywhere. And her doll brush, you can use a normal comb too. Her hair is really sticky and her ends unfortunately look like damaged. Before we start washing, let's brush our hair. When I brush doll's hair, I start from the bottom, then move to the top so the hair doesn't get pulled out or worse, even break. Okay, let's go ahead and heat up some water. I heat the water until it reaches boiling temperature. Just be careful. I'm using gloves so I can push the hair fast into the water. You can use a doll brush or a comb to do that. Then take out the hair and start brushing. Repeat the same steps while giving time for the hot water to work. I do extra brushing on the hair ends while they're in the water if they look as bad as Twyla's. Okay, we're done with the washing. Now the next step is my favorite, fabric softener. It makes the hair so soft and silky. Put in a bowl a bit of softener and dilute with warm water. Brush the hair in the softener and you already start feeling it getting smoother. When I'm done with the brushing, I leave it for 2-3 minutes for the softener to work. For extra washing, instead of a hair shampoo, I prefer to use dishwashing detergent, since I find that some shampoos can make the hair greasy. But always apply the fabric softener in the end and just wash it off with water. Ok, I washed off the softener, let's leave her to air dry a bit and check the result. Her hair is almost dry and it already looks all silky and the stickiness is also gone. Alright, it's time to cut her hair. I'm not a professional hairstylist but I love doing this and some dolls come with noticeably uneven hair. Ok, let's go ahead and show you what I use. I will use mini hair clips which are really comfortable to use and you can find them really cheap. A hair styling comb and hair scissors. I will use the ones on the left. You don't necessarily need those, just make sure you have really sharp ones, otherwise they can chew on the hair ends. Ok, for a stand I'm using my pencil holder, which I also use to store some of my sewing supplies. You can improvise too and use anything that is stable. So, let's go on and get rid of those uneven damaged ends. I'm separating the first layer and I will clip the rest up. I always check that her head position is right, so I don't accidentally cut wrong. I'm 
adding on thin layers and also with small cuts, it makes it more precise. To separate hair, you can also use the reroute line as a guide. Okay, it's time to part her hair. I'm guiding myself by the way that it's rooted. I will clip her front hair so I can start working on her sides and make them even. checking the hair length while working so there isn't any difference from the left to the right side finished styling and the fabric softener just makes wonders. We also got rid of the damaged ends. Let's compare how it looked before and how it looks after the hair treatments and styling. <laughs> 